Okay, so uh, let's uh, starting our webinar. It's about anti-aging, and we will be specifically talking about retinol. And I will let you translate while I finish the slide. So the agenda for this show is to show you and enable you how to formulate skincare product with retinol to get the maximum benefit. So we'll have in this presentation three parts. Part number one, we'll talk about the mechanism of retinol. So you better understand how does it work in order to enhance skin appearance. Number two, I will present multi-cell technology. And number three, we'll show you how to actually formulate finished product with multi-cell retinol. Uh, 视黄醇如何在皮肤释放的肌理，然后第二个是马蒂嫂系列的一个呃技术，第三个是如何用包裹视黄醇去做一个好的配方。Okay, the facial experience, uh, you can see here, and the problem that we are trying to do is to delay the appearance of fine lines such as the forehead lines that you can see here, then the crow's feet lines, this is the special lines around the eye that appears here. This is what we're trying to delay or, the, or reduce. The bunny lines, these are the lines around the eye, which develop with aging, of course. The nasal medial folds, this is the, the, the wrinkles that we have along the nose and the cheeks. Uh, the mouth flows, these are the tiny lines that we have along the mouth. You can see here, here it's more pronounced in this case. There are many other names of wrinkles and also uneven skin that you can see more in this skin than over this. So this is the problem. And if you understand fully the problem, then we can talk about the solution. Okay. <clears throat> 首先我们随着年龄的那个老化会出现各种的问题 Okay. Okay, so this is the problem. The solution that uh, is used most of the part of the world is called retinol. Retinol considered to be the gold standard for skin care. Retinol, the source of retinol is from vitamin A. Vitamin A is available in all these sources that you can see here. So retinol is derived from vit vitamin A which is a natural ingredient. Okay, keep going. So uh, what is retinol doing? In order to understand what it's doing, we have to look at the cross section of the skin. This is the uh, top of the skin. And this is a deeper layers of the skin. The top, the top layer of the skin, it's called epidermis. And below it, we have the dermis. The cells here are dividing, and then the cells are moving with this direction outside. And over time, they exfoliate and they separate. When we get older, the rate of coming to the surface and exfoliation is lower than when we were younger. So the top fast is the age of 20. As we go older, we have more accumulation of older skin, and this skin become darker and doesn't look so bright. So what is retinol doing? Three major things. Number one, reduces the fine line and wrinkles, and the way it does it is by pumping or plumping, right? Plumping effect on the skin because it's building up this layer below the epidermis, the collagen and the elastin. This is number one. 
Would you okay, okay. Up? Okay, let me let me finish the first one, okay? And and <coughs> um 我们的皮肤其实有好几层细胞从下往上走的速度就会变得越来越慢如果它变得越来越慢的时候表层的这一些细胞就会慢慢的变得暗哑是通过生产更多的胶原蛋白去让皮肤看起来比较有弹性以及有一个比较年轻化的比较少皱纹的一个外观这是视黄醇的第一个比较好的地方 OK, go on Second thing that retinol is doing is brightening the skin It's fading off the, pigmenta the pigmented spots and it repairs uneven skin the third effect is make the skin look much younger and it's reducing the blemishes. So these are the three reasons why you should use retinol. Okay, let me finish the, the third, second and the third. Uh, 第二点是视黄醇可以让皮肤看起来更光亮然后一些比较浅的一些斑一些比较暗哑的地方它能够去掉 然后第三个是它能够减少皮肤的一些色素的一些沉着，能够能够去掉一些呃呃我们个人护理品比较难处理的一些斑点。这三个地方都是视黄醇能够做到的，也是呃很多个人护理品他喜欢用视黄醇的
So this is the structure of a retinol. Now, why retinol is becoming yellow so fast? Because this double bond is the most reactive. When this double bond gets oxidized and reacts, could be reacting with oxygen or with water, then the molecule become yellow. This is the reason to get a yellow. Now, the question, is it still active? Okay. Um, <coughs> 大家看到这个视黄醇的那个结构，它那个结构是比较容易会氧化掉的。然后，嗯，这个视黄醇它会比较容自由态的视视黄醇，它是非常容易的变成黄色，但其实它如果氧化掉的话，其实远不止黄色
，大家看到的这两个这两个颜色的视黄醇，其实它都是有功效的。只不过是呃，因为视黄醇是一个敏感性特别强的原料，所以它放置一段很长的时间以后，它会稍稍的会变成黄色，但是黄色并不影响视黄醇的功效。OK。Multicell retinol was tested not only for stability but also for skin irritation. The test is called RIPT, which is repetitive insult patch technology. And we found that 0.5% retinol doesn't cause any irritation. Okay, let me let me. Uh, there is one question, Doctor Sam. RIPT, how long? How how's the time they text? It's a. Uh, I think it's one, ten, one month. Ten days. Right? Ten, ten days. Day. Every day they put a new patch. Uh, one day, two times, right? Ten days. Every day a new patch. How many times a day? One time. You put it on and you leave it all day. Okay. 在这边他们做过一个测试，然后视黄我们的视黄醇添加量零点五是不会引起任何的刺激。然后在这边介简单介绍一下那个 R I P D P T 的一个测试。R I P T 的测试在他们那边测试是一个十天的周期，啊、呃，十天的周期里面做一个半贴的测试，一贴就是一天。并不会引起任何的刺激，那证明我们的视黄醇是比较安全的。然后除了他刚才介绍那个 I P T 的那个在美国那边的测试以外，其实 I P T 在我们中国这边，特别是英同的企业，他们也会用来做呃一个测试。这个测试非常贵，呃，在中国的报价超过五万块，测试周期是一个月。然后测试的方法跟他们也是一样的，要贴贴一天。去证明我这个东西完完全全没有刺激性，所以能够通过 I P D P T 去测试的原料，它的安全性是非常非常非常高的。如果是婴童企业而言，呃，强生做这个是比较多的，也不太多的品牌能够完完全全的通过这个 I P T 的一个测试，所以这个测试是呃，在安全性方面算是含金量比较高的。Okay, keep going. I just okay. do a simple in, introduce. We are going to test multicell retinol activity, and you mm -hmm. can see here at time zero, a wrinkles around the eye, the crossfit, and after about two weeks, you see how much of this is gone, and this is on about 30 years old lady. So it works very effectively. 30 years old, right? OK， 啊、呃，大家在这边看到的就是一个三十岁女性用的视黄醇的一个效果，添加量是零点二，然后大家看到肤色跟细纹的改善也是比较明显的，然后在这个过程里面也没有呃出现任何的红啊、肿啊或者是刺激性。OK，OK， 刘文。Okay. Okay. Okay. Well, I know uh, the value of retinol. We know the problems of using retinol, and we know that uh, we have a solution by encapsulating retinol. We can keep it stable and not irritating and still become very active. The next question that we're going to address is how to use it, how to formulate finished product with multicell retinol. Okay, 接下来的问题就是我们如何去用我们这个视黄醇去呃做一个好的配方。Okay. Okay, so I show you two formulation processes, and you can see how we formulate uh, with multicell. Okay, so the first formula will be a retinol facial treatment. It's a lotion, and it contains two technologies: the retinol and Salsphere Aqua Skin. And here is the formula. So uh, the number of the formula is sixty-four one six. And what is that you should pay attention? And I will show you exactly how to formulate it. But first, I go through the list of the ingredients. So okay. you, has, you want to translate? Uh, I think they can understand the, the, the raw materials in the formula. Okay, so it's about 70% of the formula is water. There is glycerin. The thickener is xanthan gum. Then mm -hmm. there are several active ingredients. 
And the most important, pay attention to the yellow, which is multicell retinol. And this is the formula, the inky names of multicell retinol, and it used only 0.5%. The Sunsphere Aqua Skin is a supporting technology. Why we use Sunsphere Aqua Skin? Because we want to keep the skin very hydrated, so there is no chance for any type of irritation. What do we have? In addition to urea is the, and glycerin as major uh, materials to hydrate the skin, we also use caffeine and hyaluronic acid. All together are keeping the skin moisture. So this is our Southfield Aqua Skin that works together with retinol. Okay, do, do you need me to ex ex translate the Aqua Skin? I don't need you to translate. Only your customer needs you to translate. Okay, let me do a simple introduction of the, the formulation. In this case, he did a simple formulation of a simple formulation. Yosui, Doyan Chun, Raho Zong So Yong Han Sung Jiao, Raho Ru Paji, Hayo Sao Liang, the Chita, the Isha Yozi. Now Taja Jibian Tita Liang, the Bija Song Yao, the Ho Xing Wu Diga, Shi Huang Sun, Jusu Woman Kan, the Woman Sienta, the Jia Shao, the Jay Kan Champion. Now Takan Tita, the Yoga Bao Shi Fei Shang Hao, the Yoga Yashiga Bao Gu, Jisu, the Yoga Bao Shi Ji. Raho Tan Li Mian, your Gu Zong, Gu Yang, the Bao Shi Ji, the Li Mian Bao Gui Chia, Bao Gu Niao Su, Jay Shi, Raho Tong Shi, Ta Hayo. 呃，一个包了一点点的咖啡因，所以它这个产品会让皮肤长比较能够保持一个长时间的活性、活力以及代谢的能力，能够做到一个比较高效的一个保湿。所以这这个也是他们家，呃，另外一款卖的比较好的一个保湿产品。这在这边就不不做那个详细的介绍了。OK， keep going。So here is how we make the product step by step. So this is a first container. Container A is a larger one. Then we have container B and we have container C. And we heat up A and B to about 80 degrees C. Okay, in mm -hmm. container A, we put the water phase, which is the water that's okay. in the xanthan gum. Container okay. B, container B, we put a lot of, of the oil material. You don't mm -hmm. have exactly the same you can choose your own materials and after this is homogeneous and this is mm -hmm. homogeneous then we transfer B into A and they are only when only when they are at the same temperature this is the process so B mix go to A now we have to wait until the temperature cools down and we start to prepare vessel number C. Vessel number C contains the retinol and the aqua skin, two technologies. When this is mixed, when A reached the room temperature, then we take C and add it back to A. This is the process to manufacture the product. Okay. <clears throat> 啊、uh, ，他这在这边说到的是一个呃，将我们视黄醇的一个工艺，但他在这边可能他漏了一点没有说的，就是那个 Aqua Skin 刚才说的那个保湿的产品，它其实是一个液态的东西，晃得动的东西。他是建议把视黄醇把那个跟那个东西先预分散，先加在一起。但是如果我们不买它这一个 Aqua Skin 的产品，不用它这个 Aqua Skin 的产品，我们可以用一样的用多元醇或者是油。去分散好我们的 m a r k e t i n 就可以了。然后他在这边做了一个比较简单的介绍 ：A 是一个水箱，一一样是可以打菌制的。然后 B 是油箱那边，就是一个比较简单的乳化的一个工艺而已。然后我们的视黄醇是后加，最好是等到温度还能降下来的时候。就降了一点下来的时候加，那当然我们在下锅生产的时候，可能是七十多度的时候，那个锅还能转得起来的时候，那个时候加进去会比较稳妥一点。OK， keep going. Very good. Now I should take you to the lab, and you see how exactly we do it step by step. 然后现接下来是一个呃那个他们的工艺录像，大家可以看一下。This will make it more compatible with the water. And will make mixing much easier. The xanthan gum should be easily dispersed within the glycerin. Now 
Now that this is uniform, it can be added to the water, which has already been mixing and heating. Eventually, we want the water phase and the oil phase to both be at 75 degrees Celsius. Now, while our water phase is heating and mixing, we will begin to heat and mix the oil phase. Our first ingredient in the oil phase is GCHEM CTG, which is a triglyceride. This is going to be our carrier in the oil phase. Our next ingredient is jojoba oil. This will act as an emollient and will restore the skin. Then we will add Lexfield N5. This is another emollient and will give the formulation a light feel. Now we will add some shea butter. This will add some moisturizing power to our final lotion. Emulsifier, Montanov 68. This is satiro alcohol and satiro glucoside. This emulsifier will help the oil phase match the interfacial tension of the water phase and create nice small droplets and eventually an emulsion. Now we will add stearic acid to the oil phase. This will act as a thickener and will make the lotion nice and rich. Now the final ingredient of our oil phase will be added. DL alpha tocopherol care, which is just tocopherol. And this is a very powerful antioxidant. So this will work in concert with our technology, the microcell retinol and our other technology, the cell sphere aqua skin to provide the anti-aging benefits to this lotion. Now that both the oil and the water phase have reached a temperature of 75 degrees Celsius, we will add the oil to the water phase. This will thicken the water a considerable amount, so an increase in propeller speed will be necessary. As you can see, I am maintaining heat while continuing to mix and add the oil to the water phase. Once it has mixed and been completely added, we will continue to heat and mix for another 10 minutes after the full addition. As you can see, now that the oil has been added to the water, a nice white opaque emulsion has been formed. Once the emulsion has been mixed for 10 minutes at temperature, you can begin to cool to room temperature. Now that our emulsion is at room temperature, we will begin to add our technologies. First of which is microcell retinol, which is our custom encapsulation of retinol. As you can see, our technology can be added on top of the emulsion after you have created your two-phase system. Now our second technology, Salisphere Aquaskin will be added. Our South Sphere Aquaskin is an encapsulation of an extract from seaweed. This will provide powerful antioxidant and anti-aging benefits to the final formulation. Finally, we will add our preservative, LincoServe, to the final formulation. Once this is allowed to mix for at least 10 minutes, the formulation is done and you have a retinol lotion. Here's what our final formulation looks like. As you can see, it's not super thick like a cream, but it's not runny. And here's what the application of this lotion would look like. Only a small amount is needed, really just a pea-sized drop. And then that amount can be worked across the entire hand and it will absorb fairly quickly and moisturize the skin while providing the retinol and seaweed. Okay, so uh, do you, do I see that you already translated in the chat. So yeah. um, <clears throat> you can watch it again, of course, uh, when the uh, video will be saved, you can watch it again and learn how exactly we do it. 
So this is a retinol facial treatment. You see the typical package. Uh, it's also used uh, effectively for the neck uh, where people have wrinkles. Just rub it on the neck, on the chest, on the hands, on the face, of course. And uh, it's used for wrinkles and sagging skin. So uh, this is the uniqueness of uh, Multisal Retinol. Uh, for anti-aging and for brightening or what we call fading hyperpigmentation. So um, um, I hope this is clear and we can show you now how to make another formula. This formula, it's called Accelerated Retinol Cream and it contains multicell retinol and salsphere natural anti-aging. We always use them in combination because they are protecting each other and they work better in a synergy fashion. Uh, the accelerated, why we call it accelerated? Because it's not only retinol, it's a combination of retinol and niacinamide. Retinol and niacinamide together with the natural anti-aging work very well. So briefly, what is natural anti-aging? Natural anti-aging is using polyphenols from grape and from apple. These are very strong polyphenol materials that work as antioxidant and also to boost collagen and elastin. Okay. Uh, hey, Dr. Zhang. Yeah. Our customer, uh, they are asking for the, re the, the imitation report, uh, RPIT. Okay, all the questions, we can come back at the end, okay? All the questions, we can come back. The, the, our, our IRPT is depends on the formula that you give the third party to do. Every formula is different and therefore, Every formula will require its own formula, its own test. So maybe we can share our test, but it doesn't mean that they can repeat it exactly as is. But okay. I'm, I'm moving on and all the questions and requests can come on later. So accelerated retinol, you see it has about 83% water, 1% niacinamide, the thickener is xanthan gum. It also has carbomel, and it also has other kinds of natural ingredients. Of course, you don't have to use exactly the same. You can use other materials. What we recommend here is to use multicell retinol at 1.5%. In case of cream, we use a higher concentration than in a lotion. And lotion is a higher concentration than a serum. So it depends what is the final product. So this is our retinol formula and Salsphere Natural Anti-Aging contains the apple extract and grape seed extract and like resveratrol and other ingredients to protect the polyphenols and we use them at 2.5%. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the uh, process of how to make it. So uh, we use two basic vessels, A and B. This is all a clear, a cold process. No need to heat anything. So first of all, we make it into the water phase. We add the water, the niacinamide, xanthan gum, glycerin, and the carbomel. Then in B, we put the oil phase. The oil phase is the different oil, the squalene, uh, isodecan and multicell retinol. Now when B is ready, then we put B into A. So now we have now A plus B into the original material. So the third step is we add thickener. Additional thickener, this is xanthan gum is not always sufficient for this. This is the thickener that we use uh, simu gel, and then number four, we add Salsphere Natural Anti-Aging. 
And now you can see exactly how we do it. The first ingredient that we will add to the water is niacin, which is otherwise known as vitamin B3. Next, we will premix our xanthan gum and glycerin. What this does is helps to wet the polymer and make it more easily dispersed within the water. Now that our premixture is uniform, it will be added to the water. Our final ingredient in the water phase is PNC400, which is sodium carbamer. This is a pre-neutralized polymer, so this will thicken the water into almost a gel. It may seem that the sodium carbamer is insoluble at the water at first, but it just takes a little bit of time to hydrate and will thicken considerably. Now that our water phase is completely combined, we will begin to work on our oil phase in a separate vessel. Our first ingredient is permethyl 99A, which is isododecane. This is a film forming polymer, which will help to disperse the actives across the skin. Our next ingredient is squalane, and this will act as an emollient and provide a light feel to the final formulation. Next, we will add argan oil to the oil phase. This will provide some fatty acids and will help moisturize the skin. Next, we will add our preservative, Uxal PE9010, to the oil phase. This will ensure that the water in the water phase does not grow bugs. Now, our technology, multi-sal retinol, will be added to this phase and dispersed. Now that the sodium carbamer in our water phase has completely hydrated and thickened, we will begin to add the oil phase to the water phase. Now we will add Similgel EG. This is a liquid polymer that will be used as an emulsifier for this purpose. And what this will do is to help the oil phase and the water phase to mix and create small droplets and eventually create an emulsion. Finally, we will add our second technology to the formulation, Salisphere Natural Anti-Aging. This is an encapsulation of apple extract and resveratrol, which are both very powerful antioxidants. Once this has mixed for 10 minutes and become uniform, you have a finished retinol cream. Here is the final formulation of the cream. As you can see, it's much thicker than a lotion would be. As such, it provides a lot of moisturization here is what the cream looks like being applied to the skin. A very small amount is used, and then that is spread around the area. This absorbs very quickly and is extremely moisturizing while providing the benefits of retinol and our Salisphere Natural Anti-Aging, which has the apple extract and resveratrol. Okay, are there any questions about this formula? Um, Dr. Zam. They don't have much, many questions about the formula, but they have some questions they want to ask you. Can you answer it? Try. Um, the first is uh, retinol can be used in the daytime, right? No. Your I, device is uh, uh, used at, at night. It's, it's better, right? Absolutely not to use in day. It can burn the skin and it can cause damage to the skin. Retinol but a lot, but a lot of our customer they use in uh, you use multi-cell retinol using daytime. Uh, 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 uh. Not recommended. Okay, but there, it's okay. <clears throat> not okay. It's not recommended. <laughs> okay, and people, another. Listen, people also smoke and drink a lot of alcohol. Is it okay? <laughs> I, I think it's okay. Okay, you think so. <laughs> yeah, it depends on the dosage, right? Uh, <laughs> no, it's not good for the skin. <laughs> okay. And, so, but and hold another. Hold on, hold on a minute. And another. Hold on. Uh -huh. Hold on. 
Uh, retinol is not, but that's why, you see, when we show the presentation, we always add another technology. Natural anti-aging, for example, works like retinol, and it's good to use during the day. So at the, the, the level depends. So you can make the same cream practically for night and for day. For night, you minimize retinol and maximize natural anti-aging. This is for a day. For night, the opposite, you make more natural anti-aging and at, uh, at night you put more retinol and day you put less or almost zero. So they all work in synergy. That's why we put them together. So I want you to look at the details of the formula. This formula is of course commercially available also. And it's the same formula, just different ratio between the two technologies. Ex exactly the same formula. So from the production point of view, once you make the formula, you just change the ratios between the two technologies and you have a day cream and a night cream. Okay, okay. Because they want to sh ensure something is uh, our Marktisau retinol can be used in day cream or not? No. Okay. And, but, but they are selling good. A lot of our customers, they are selling good in a day cream. Okay. And, and another one is uh, they want you, you can offer our the offer us the RIPT report, right? Yeah. Okay. And and one more question is uh, when the daytime, uh, some consumer they use uh, maybe retinol uh, from any suppliers. Then, if they do, they they don't do the UV protection. Is it poison to the skin? Uh, free retinol, not encapsulated, uh, is irritating the skin. I cannot use the word poison. It's irritating and damaging the skin. Retinol should not be used for the day. For the day, we have other solutions such as natural anti-aging. Retinol okay. is not recommended by any of the clinical studies to use during the day. It's you are okay. risking, risking uh, well, in, at least in US, you are risking that somebody will sue you for millions of dollars. Okay. Okay, let me let me do the translation first. Um, <coughs> 关于刚才几个问题，第一个是那个呃，视黄醇能不能用在那个白天？呃，以他这个学术派的意见，就是那个哦，忘了介绍一下，他是那个普林斯顿大学的那个教授，然后他认为那个视黄醇最好还是晚上。去用，因为光视黄醇的那个光敏性会比较强，所以晚早上用的话，也许会有部分人产生那个刺激。另外一块就是那个不做防晒的时候，那个视黄醇会不会有那个光毒性的一个问题？呃，在他看来，这不是光光毒性的问题，而是由于视黄醇它自己本身的一个光敏性的问题，所以它会产对皮肤产生刺激。所以我们的建议是一般呃。如果我们自身的客户没有做，呃，没有之前没有使用过那个视黄醇的产品的话，我们建议会先做一些晚霜的产品，会比较比较稳妥一点。但是，嗯、呃，按照我们现在客户使用我们这个包裹视黄醇的情况来看，呃，几乎添加量在零点五以下的，早上都很，呃，用坐在那个日霜里面的，早上都比较少，呃。反正我从我们客户那边是没有听到过，说是呃有一个过敏的情况，它会有一个人体适应的一个时间。打比方说，他第一次用用在日霜里面，他可能会有一个皮肤有一点点红啊，或者是胀的一些感觉。但是他如果连续用个两三天以后，或者是停了一天之后再连续用两三天，呃，这个这个那个适应性
就会人体的那个适应性就会增强。之前的红或者是有一些比较胀的，或者是甚至有一些有部分人耐受性、皮肤耐受性很低的那部分人群，呃，他的那个刺痛啊，或者是红的那个现象，它会消失，甚至。减弱或者是消失，所以这个一般是看人体皮肤本身的耐受性。但如果是真真的要去开发视黄醇的产品的话，我们一般是建议它先在晚霜里面去用，然后减减掉呃大概百分之五十的使用量，把它放在日霜里面，这样子的操作是比较稳妥的，也是比较那个少那个呃呃呃那个那个致敏率也是比较低的。也没有什么负面反反馈出现的。目前我们的客户的那个使用方法大概也是这样。嗯，大家还有没有其他的问题是需要去问他的？或者是一些报告啊，或者是之后呃，包括那个高霜颜色，大家是想要一个对照的那个图片的话，我稍后也可以提供给大家。大家如果还有问题的话，可以在那个聊天那个屏幕里面打出来，我。直接问他。Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. So I just wanted to let you know to summarize this product concept. It's called accelerated retinol cream. This is the typical packages for this. These are all commercial product. Uh, we combine retinol, multicellular retinol, together with vitamin B3, which is niacinamide. Uh, this is a time-release retinol. It makes it very suitable for consumers with sensitive skin. And here you can see several commercial products that using different type, and one of them is uh, different type of technologies, including uh, multi-cell and natural anti-aging technologies. Dr. Zan, the second formulation, the, the second form, uh, the retinol is 1.0, right? I can bring you back here. 1.5. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, stop here. Because our customer, they want to double check again. Yeah, but uh, once they, they get the video, they can review it again and again. And on uh, Yeah, we can offer them the video, right? Yeah, the video will come okay. and we'll finish it. Okay, so uh, it 1.5. You see, that means the total level of retinol is only 0.15. Okay. They, they are they're asking why you, you add so much. This is not that much. This is actually very little. It's a high, high, high dosage level, right? 1.5. This is accelerated retinol. Okay, they can use less. They can use 1% or even less. The previous formula had only 0.5% of multicell retinol. Uh, they are asking this formula, uh, did you do the imitation test, safety test? Okay, we are not selling, we are not the direct sell of the finished product. I will talk about this at the end. The company that does the finished product need to do the whip test. Um, okay, so if they want to use 1.5, they have to do the safety test and imitation test by themselves, right? Of course, because they have to do it in their own ingredients. And they don't have to use exactly the same. We just show example on how to use it. So uh, you see several of the commercial products that using... These products are on selling, right? Excuse me? On, sell, uh, on selling, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I would like to uh, summarize what we had now over the last hour. Uh, now, I believe that you are more familiar with retinol. Uh, this is the gold standard for anti-aging. Encapsulated retinol, like multi that we show here, provide extended shelf life, prevent discoloration, reduce the irritation, make it suitable for consumer with sensitive skin, and it's very easy to formulate with and to keep it in storage. No need to keep it refrigerated and doesn't need to protect it with nitrogen. And the product itself, multi 
is preservative free. So you can use it with any combination of preservative that you would like to. Okay, they don't have to change, they don't need to change the preservative system, right? Now, multi cell comes without preservative. It's a dry powder, there is no water, so it doesn't need preservative. So okay, okay. They use whatever they want in the finished product. Okay, let me do the summary in Chinese. Um, <clears throat> 他在这边做了一个总结，就是我们的视黄醇，它第一是那个功效比较强的，第二个是嗯，它用了一个包裹技术，它有几个比较好的地方，第一个是它保质期很很长，跟普通的呃那个呃呃那个棕榈酸酯
schedule to chat with me on the Zoom. So all that they need to do is to call www.salvona.com slash contacts and in contact they can request and find 30 minutes Zoom meeting. Okay. 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 大家如果要一些样本那当然可以也可以问瑞玉这边去拿然后他介绍的这个网站上面他会有一些一些视频大家可以去看一下包括有一部分是包裹技术的有一部分是产品介绍的如果大家有兴趣的话也可以登录进去